I have some exciting news. GenCap has been working on an exclusive new, one-of-a-kind product in the personal lines cyber liability space. We are combining a cyber risk management tool with cyber liability insurance as an all-in-one package geared towards high net worth individuals, but, but really for anyone that is looking for added coverage and to, to ensure that they're them, their assets and their family are protected. That's incredible because there are a lot of companies out there that do the monitoring for cybersecurity and or lots of places, obviously, that you can secure insurance coverage, but I've never heard the two being just one package deal. We're really taking the best of both worlds and putting it together. And exactly to your point, why tap one and why only have re reactive coverage when you can have something that is proactively monitoring your exposure and then inversely why only have some monitoring service where if you are hacked you're subject subject to a loss when you have something that's combined together to really protect yourself so what are some of the key selling points to this product that you're launching and congratulations by the way oh, thank you thank you some of the key selling points here is you're getting an all-in-one cybersecurity tool it is monitoring your portable devices, your cell phones, your laptops, your, your tablets. It's monitoring the Wi-Fi in your home as well as the Wi-Fi that you're connecting to in a, in a coffee shop, uh, in a WeWork, or really anywhere you are. It's protecting you in and outside of your home for all the exposures or the cyber exposures that you're bringing along with you. It has a 24-7 helpline available to answer your phone or answer any questions that you have if you were happened to be breached or if someone was happened to get into your system. Uh, on the insurance side, you're getting a full suite of insurance coverages that aren't necessarily available in the personal cyber lines market from security and liability, uh, breach response services, the data restoration, funds transfer fraud. There's even some cyber bullying and cyber counseling that can be extended to the, the household and the, and the family. So if an agent is listening to this and is regularly selling Chubb, AIG, Vault, Pure, the cyber endorsements that can go on those high net worth packages, what, obviously the monitoring component is very different, but what are some of the other key differences? First and foremost is the limits that are available. A lot of these endorsements or a lot of these personal line cyber policies that are available cap at 500,000 or a million Whereas this SIBA program or the SIBA tool have layers of 500, 2 million, 5 million, and we could even structure higher than that if it's sought after. Um, really giving an added le level of protection for those high net worth individuals that want to fully it, encompass their, their exposure or fully protect themselves from a breach. In addition to that, there's also no minimum requirement to get on the application. Some of these high net worth individual cyber policies that are out there require a specific you know, asset threshold or home value or, or what have you to even qualify for the enhancement. SIBA, although geared towards high net worth individuals, there's no minimum threshold. There's no minimum assets. There's no minimum this. It doesn't need to be tied to your homeowner's policy. It doesn't need to be tied to anything else. If you're interested, you get the application right onto your phone. You have the protection on your phone and your devices. It's monitoring your emails, your social media, your accounts. And then, you know, if needed, it's, it's responding with insurance coverage. In addition to there being no minimum threshold for people to qualify or get it, there's also no ceiling on it either. You can be a celebrity, you could be ultra high net worth, you can be, you know, Justin Bieber, and you are still able to purchase the program without any scrutiny or without any added requirements, costs, or so forth. SIBA wants to protect everyone that they can and you know, they are confident that with their monitoring service, you know, you, there will be a significant reduction in any potential breaches. However, in the unlikelihood that there is, they're back ending it with insurance to protect you. I know with this product, we're relying on our retail partners to really sell it just as they would all of the other lines of business that they sell for personal lines insurance, specifically for an affluent clientele. What incentive does this program have for our retailers to add this to their, I mean, aside from the coverage and the monitoring necessity for their clients to better protect them, what's their financial incentive to sell this product to in their clients? In addition to rounding out the exposures, I mean, it's paying 15% commission 
per per program that's being put in place or per subscription that's sold. So it's you know the commission levels are higher than what you would normally get out of a wholesale market for their products. The difference here is that it's something that should be easier to sell, and your entire base of your private client, your personalized clients, and even you know the the C-suite of a lot of your current commercial clients are targets, are people that you can pitch it to. Key to note here is the distribution is exclusive to GenCap. We are excited to work with our top retail brokers who then work with their top clients to secure this new innovative product. Access to the product, access to SIBA is only through GenCap. We're excited to put it out into the world. That's awesome. Well, congratulations again. I know so much sweat equity goes into building such an innovative and literally first of its kind product. So. Kudos to you and your team on that. Thank you. We will link at the end of this video, the landing page to SIBA so that our retailers can learn more. There's a lot to this. Again, because it's a brand new product, um, we'll have lots of information on the landing page so that they can see the platform, see the software, see some of the pricing models and everything that they need to know so that they are armed with what they need to go out and sell it to the world.